Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake from MyGamer.com and SquallSnake.com and today I have a Game Boy Micro here and I am going to be putting unique Game Boy cartridges in the Game Boy Micro to see what's going to happen. Will it fit? What's the form factor? Will it even work? The Game Boy Micro was the last Game Boy Nintendo released in the whole Game Boy lineup before they fully went DS and 3DS. So this thing has become pretty valuable and pretty collectible over the years. And I figured, what's going to happen if you take Nintendo's most unique Game Boy and you pair it with their most unique cartridges, okay? So for a quick comparison, this is the Game Boy Micro. Here is an original Game Boy model, and you can see the size difference. I'm just gonna rest this on top here, and you can see how small the Game Boy Micro really is. And then if you really take a look at it, check out the screen size difference. So this is a big screen on the original model, and then the Game Boy Micro screen is much, much smaller. Encode another quick comparison. Here is the AGS 101 SP model, right? Still much, much smaller, okay? And the form factor is different. The cartridge slot is just a little bit different. And we'll go over that in, in a quick second here, okay? So here's the... Game Boy Advance Micro to get a baseline. Let's stick a regular GBA cart in it. Today I have Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. And as you can see, it fits flawlessly. It's snug. It fits flush. It's perfect. It'll work. I'll turn it on just for completion sake. You can see there. Lights up. It works. It's great. Okay, it's typical Game Boy Advance cartridge. No duh, that's gonna work. Now, we'll put this one off to the side. Now, here's a Game Boy Color cartridge. Here I have Dexter's Laboratory, which is really just elevator action. And if you notice, this doesn't even fit. So the Game Boy Micro does not play Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges. It simply just does not fit. So yeah, that cartridge slot is just slightly different than all the other Game Boys. If you look here, you know, this will fit, you know, the original Game Boy, Game Boy Advance will fit Game Boy and play Game Boy Color games, but not here on the Game Boy Micro. So that's kind of a neat point to point out. It's not fully backwards compatible like the other systems are. So now let's go to the Nintendo DS Rumble Pack, which this is just a Rumble Pack that is supposed to fit in the slot two. And it fits, it's the same exact form factor as, you know, a regular GBA cartridge, so it fits flush and everything. But when you turn it on, it doesn't do anything. It just stays at the screen where you normally would link up to play multiplayer or something like that. So the Game Boy, or the DS Rumble Pack does nothing, which is to be expected. So now, let's go into the unique sized carts to see if they work. Okay, and here's Drill Dozer. You can see this has a unique cartridge here, a little bit bigger, about the same size as Yoshi Topsy Turvy, just a hair bigger, slightly different form factor. And here we go, Drill Dozer. So you can see it works, and the form factor is similar to Boktai, similar to Yoshi Topsy Turvy and it doesn't really impede gameplay holding it. So Drill Dozer, a new game, has a rumble pack in it. Pretty cool. The rumble is actually surprisingly well for a Game Boy Advance game. Yoshi Topsy Turvy. There we go. So Yoshi Topsy Turvy was unique because it used motion. So you tilt the Game Boy left and right to move Yoshi around. As you can see here, it asks you to choose your system setup. We don't, yeah, we don't have a DS. We don't have the original model. Game Boy Micro is not even on here with Yoshi Topsy Turvy. But anyway, it fits. You can see that it still protrudes from the bottom of the cartridge slot here. But it works. It's not all that bad. It doesn't really get in the way when you play, okay? Next thing is we'll go to Boktai, and Boktai is also similarly shaped to Yoshi Topsy Turvy. 
might be almost the identical size form factor okay and boktai yeah it's going to be the same thing as yoshi it'll work got your solar sensor if you've never played boktai before great game made by the same guy who made metal gear and it's very metal gear ish on the game boy except it has vampires and this is actually the light sensor so if you're playing on a sunny day like today that's how you power up your gun and all sorts of cool things happen. So I only have Boktai 1. I do not have Boktai 2, nor do I have Boktai 3, which was only released in Japan. But as you can see, the form factor, it still fits inside the Game Boy Micro and it still works. Okay, so let's keep moving on. Here is the EverDrive. This is the X5 and this also fits and works. It's a little snug because just the cartridge obviously isn't an official Nintendo cartridge, but still works nonetheless. Has the form factor of Yoshi Topsy Turby or Boktai as well, but it's, you know, it's not flush, but it still works and still, you know, doesn't really get in the way of gameplay. Moving on, almost done. This is the big one. This is one I want to really take a look at. This is WarioWare Twisted. In my opinion, this is the best WarioWare game. And this cartridge is, as you can see, probably the most unique on Game Boy Advance. It's a, this big bump on it. So it's much bigger than Yoshi Topsy Turvy, for example. But, so not only is it taller, it has this weird protrusion because this also has a rumble feature in it. And it's motion sensitive. So you can play games and it tilts and it rumbles and it's awesome this is the best wario wear game check it out if you ever have the opportunity buy this cartridge it's great and it works on the game boy micro but this is the most awkward to hold for sure because you're you know the game boy micro is kind of hard to hold because it is so small it's almost like a single joy con on a switch or something but you can see here that the back just really sticks out a lot and so if you're holding it here from the bottom, I mean, it really kind of, you know, gets in the way. It's a little bit hard to hit the start and select button, but it will work. Do not move your Game Boy Advance. So anyway, it works, but the most awkward to play with. WarioWare Twisted again. Check it out. Really good game. Now here, finally, we'll close up with the Nintendo e-reader. This thing works well for the original Game Boy model. It's really designed for the original Game Boy model because when you, you put it in here, it fits into the link port slot, right? So everything works together and you can exchange data by using the other link port on the top. But clearly this is not the same form factor in the Game Boy Micro. So will it fit? No. So it wants to, but as you can see, the link port gets in the way of the console. You can see that there. I don't want to push it anymore because I don't want to dent my, my GBA micro, but you can see that the link port would fit right in between the start and select button. It seems like it has the room, but the the swoosh of the bottom of the Game Boy Micro doesn't fit with the e-reader. Otherwise, you know, it would work. The other thing with the Game Boy Micro is the port here also charges the unit and has a very unique and very rare link port, uh, link cable. So if you wanted to play multiplayer, it does not use the same port that the standard Game Boy and Game Boy SP use, you can see there. So if you're ever trying to play multiplayer, you got to buy, you had to get the unique link cable that I think was only available on Nintendo's website at the time. So that's it. These are all unique Game Boy cartridges. And do they fit? Most of them do, but some of them don't. So again, Game Boy Micro, if you have a chance to check this thing out, just to hold it in your own hands, highly recommend you do so. So thank you for watching. Go to mygamer.com. Go to squallsnake.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz. Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. Thank you for watching. And until next time, game on.